Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salito, and hope you're having a fabulous day. I'm here on my fan page, and I want to show you a strategy or a little bit of a tip on how to make these images here on the application tabs. I get a lot of questions and a lot of emails about people asking me, Michelle, how do you create these? Or Michelle, how do you make these pictures? So first, let me just cover what this is. So this is my fan page. This is where I conduct all my business around my brand, which is helping others succeed online through Facebook marketing. I train network marketers. I train online marketers. Um, anybody out there that wants to build their brand online using Facebook. So you want to utilize this space here that we call application tabs. And I have several different opportunities on here that I'm, I might be promoting. So this right here was a local app broker. It was a mobile app device that was a software program that was helping people build mobile apps and flip them for, you know, $1,000, $2,000 in their local business area. And they're giving you training on it. Well, I promoted that. So what I did is I came in here and I created a, like, mini website right here. Although it's down right now. It's not working. So I created a little mini website that I was able to put in this section. Let's go see if we can find another one. Okay, once this loads up, you'll be able to see it. So this is the one that has to do with partnering with us in our business. You know, who else wants to partner with us in a new, you know, underground, super profitable niche we discovered online? So, and I spelled discovered wrong. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> so here is um, a capture page, and what I'm doing is, is I'm driving traffic, you know, to this page. So that might be with Facebook ads, or it might just be within my fan page itself on the page. Well, there's several different ways to building these application tabs, and I suggest that any kind of offer, whether it be your network marketing company, I don't recommend you promoting your network marketing company because I'm an attraction marketer. I believe building your brand first, leading with value, and then letting people discover your network marketing company. You know, I've got Numus here, I've got high tier commissions here as an affiliate product. Um, so basically, I'm not promoting that, but what I am promoting are things like getting leads now. So I'll drive traffic, I focus on the struggling network marketers out there, and I drive traffic Hi there, my name is Michelle. to these pages. So that's how you want to utilize this space here. So anything you're promoting, you want to create an application tab here, a mini website. And then you can also do, which I love, is just do a welcome video here. You know, if you're just starting out, you want to create a welcome tab and you can drive traffic there to start getting fans. I'm totally like getting off of why I brought you guys here, but I'm just giving you some ideas. So you could do a welcome tab here, do a short two minute video, tell somebody, welcome to the page. My name is Michelle Pesco Solito. I'm a Facebook marketer helping other people build their businesses online. I invite you to like my page here on, you know, we're doing a, uh, we, we provide value on our page every day that pertains to building your business online. We want to encourage you to interact on this page, ask your questions, and we're excited to have you here. You know, just something simple like that, a welcome video. I, I always encourage new people to do that. Now, you might be asking, how do I create these application tabs? There are several different ways that you can do it. Um, I can get into that in another video, but why I'm here is to show you how to create these awesome pictures. So I'm in my fan page right now, and there's a little pencil icon here. If I click on that pencil icon, I can go all the way down to the bottom here and edit the settings. And once I edit the settings, there will be something here called the custom tab image. And I'm going to click on that to change that. You can even change the tab name right here. So below the, right here, below the uh, actual image, you can name that tab. That's where you change it. So I want to change the image. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click change. Now, a lot of people ask me, where do you get your images? Well, I go to Google. So I go and I just find an image. So let's just say, um, let's go to Google. And let's look up, let's just do, say my tab has something to do with leads. I click in leads, and then I click on images. And then I just find an image. So say I want to use this right here. So I click on it, and I use a software program called Jing. It's J-I-N-G. You Google that, or it's Camtasia Jing. You can download it for free. So let me show you what it does. It puts this little sun up here. I click on this X. I come and I cut the image out like this. 
And then over here to the left, I say capture the image. And then I've got the option because I've bought a program called Snagit. I love Snagit. And what I do is I open it up in Snagit, which is going to take a moment. And once that opens up, it's taking a moment. There we go. I just do, I come over here to the image and I pull these little walls out here. Just like that. Then I come over here and grab the paint bucket up here to the right. I pick the color I want and I drop color in there. That's how I make those. Now, the size. You need to come up here and edit. And you can do this with any program that edits your images, okay? Um, and I come in here and I resize the image right there. And you want your image to be 111 by 74. And you want to do the pixels right here and you click apply. There we go. So then I save it to my hard drive, which I'm not going to save this one. This looks like this image was copywritten, so I don't want to get in trouble for doing that. So just be careful. You can see there's a watermark on it right here in the middle, so I can't use that image. Um, and then I just come over here and I change the image right here. I click on change. Then I click in here, choose the file. And I find where that image was on my hard drive. And what will happen is it will pop up here. And then once it's there, it's already saved. I can go back to my page here, click OK. And that's where you will see that your images have come up. It's a very simple way to go out there and make some really cool images here um, and get them to stand out on your fan page because that's what you want. If you go around and you look at people's fan pages, think about what grabs your attention. Then you model that and you go do that on your fan page. So I want to encourage you to go look at some really good fan pages out there and see what people are doing because that is what's going to give you ideas to take your fan page to the next level. There may not be a perfect fan page out there, but you can take ideas from several different fan pages to make your fan page the per perfect fan page. And you're going to get more people that are going to come to your page. They're going to be excited about being there because you've got vivid images. You've got enticing offers. You're providing value on your page. And that's going to go a long way in your business. When you're using attraction marketing, it's going to attract people to you who want your services and want to work with you. So I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.